Brandon, how do you judge your production on the field when you know you're having good games? Because you play a position sometimes where the average fan statistically looks at the box score and sees one tackle, but yeah. you made a far bigger impact in the game than just one tackle. I mean, playing D-line, everybody knows like the stats not going to show up for everything. So, you know, I just try to make an impact play where everybody can see. So, like, I just try to make sure, like, UCLA, perfect example, I just try to help the defense and get, we got to take away, help the offense get in a better position to score. So, I just try to do as much as I can, you know, to get on, get on the TV screen so they know I did something. <laughs> what, what is it that Coach Joe has done for you just to be able to help develop you and refine your technique, especially in the interior? I mean, Coach Joe, he's real big on uh, fundamentals and being physical and everything, you know. He's like real technical and like it's annoying sometimes because like it'd be the littlest thing, but it's like that one little thing could take you one like real far. So it's, he's real technical and like it's, it's a pain to book, yeah. Do, do you have an example of, of something that when you're going through film with him and you hear it, you get annoyed by it, then the next week you go into the game, you do it and it works, and then you gotta kind of look yeah, at him and be like, yeah, yeah you're right. You have one of those? I mean, like, it was just like simple stuff. Like, so instead I have contain on the job, and I don't get contained during practice, and I get contained in the game, I get a sack. And he, that's a perfect example. Like, he says, if you got contained during the practice, you got a second practice. Like, how you got second in the game. So that's, that's pretty much it. Does he give you the I told you so when, when you go to yeah, the side? Most definitely, yeah. <laughs> Wait, that's good. When you had been saying, even last, prior to last week, Cal game mm -hmm. that hey this, this we're gonna look a lot different. Yes sir. We're gonna look a lot different. Yes sir. When KT's back, when Swinson's back, yes, when Ajax's back, yep. and the results are there. How 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 good are you starting to feel? I mean, I, I, like I said, you got let everybody get healthy and it's shown last game. You know, we back. You know, we got we got we got we, we're not satisfied with what we did last week. You know, we got something to prove coming in this week. You know. What does the, having the three of them, especially when you're in dime, mm -hmm. when you're the solo, yeah. I'm in there. What does that com What does that do for you when all? I think the combination of the four of you with Noah, that that five. There's no one in this league who can compare to that yeah. much talent mm -hmm. and speed. Yes, sir. What does that do to you on the field? And your, your I mean, it, it gives me a lot of confidence. knowing I got guys that I know that can make a lot of plays, but I can allow them to do their job. You know. But like they're real, um, what's the word for it? Uh, they're real reliable, you know, and they're trustworthy. And I, I try to be the same way. I try to give them everything I got, so they give them everything that they got. Does it make it any easier for you when a guy like KT might demand a chip or a double, or, or Noah might demand a chip or a double, Mace long sticks, and all of a sudden you find yourself in a one-on-one? Oh, for sure. Right? Like, like, I always tell you guys when I do this, like, when someone does their job, and when I'm in, when I'm in with KT, it, it's, it's bad because they get so worried about KT, and we got other guys on the D line that could do do the same thing KT's doing. So it, it's it's great having that that reliability on KT for sure. Can you describe just Popo's impact? Popo, yeah. man, that's big nasty right there, man. Popo's gonna do everything, take on double teams, and do all the nasty work. Is Big Nasty an official nickname for him? Oh no, nah, <laughs> nah, 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 that's just something I call him because. You know, we play D-line a real nasty position. Like, no one really, like, see what we do. But, like, we're a real, real problem on the field. Yeah. <laughs> when do you know when you come off the field that you played a really good game? Uh, what, what, what are the tells for you? I mean, I could just, I mean, by, by, first of all, by the other offensive line after the game, when they come and shake our hands and they just tell us, like, yeah, we never play D-line like that. So when we do our job, like what Coach Joby telling us to do, and we listen and it's finished how we're supposed to finish, it's the results there always. You guys had a, a great game against UCLA. I believe you held them to season low in rushing yards. Mm -hmm. You know, how, how do you kind of carry that consistency forward? Uh, you know, moving on the rest of the year. I mean, just finding something to, just to build on. You know, so Colorado coming in, they just fired the O-line coach. So you know, there's no O-line coach going to try to come in and uh, try to build his identity against us. We're not going to let that happen. You know, we're going to do our job how we did against UCLA, and we're going to stop the run. Is there something a little bit different there in in terms of it being unpredictable? It's not maybe. The same scheme, same pickups, same protections that it might have been? I mean, same thing as last week going against UCLA. We, we knew that they're going to come out of stuff that we never seen before. So we know if we just do our job and attack our key, the physical physical ball, we, we're going to be all right. What have you seen from their running backs where they have a, a different kind of duo? Oh, yeah, for sure. Like, so UCLA, they have more power backs for sure. Like, uh, Colorado, they come in with real shifty backs. So, you know, going against like Cross Patton, guys like that, Caldwell and Seven McGee, it, it's a good look because they're the same type of backs I see on film. You know, they're real shifty. They know how to get off uh, tackles. So we just got to make sure we wrap up.